Ito yung uh, hahanapin natin si X. Itong mahirap pa X kahit X na hinahanap pa. <laughs> Anak ng pati. <laughs> So this is our topic uh, Solving uh, problems involving algebraic expressions Okay, so in solving problems involving algebraic expressions We have steps to follow Number one, read the problem carefully Kailangan natin basahin ng maigi yung problem Okay, kailangan natin uh, lagyan ng uh, picture Or i-visualize kung ano yung problema Okay, so number two, determine what the problem is asking for. So, kailangan nating alamin kung ano yung hinihingi sa problema. Okay, kung ano yung mga given niya at saka ano yung uh, hinahanap. Okay, number three, identify the variables. So, we have to assign variables or letters sa mga problem. Example, we have to let x or let y be the ganito ganere depende sa problem ha okay number 4 translate the problem into a mathematical expression so i-translate natin yan into a mathematical expression depende sa ibibigay na problema and number 5 we have to solve the problem and check okay okay this is our problem yung step 1 natin we have to read the problem carefully if the length of a rectangular flower garden is thrice a number increased by 6 and its width is a number decreased by 8. Ito yung question. Find the perimeter of the rectangular garden. Okay, yung step 2 natin, we have, to, we have to determine the problem is asking for. Ano yung hinihingi sa problema? Okay, yung uh, step 2 natin, ito yun. Ano yung hinihingi? We have to find the perimeter of the rectangular garden. Okay? So, yung uh, step 3, we have to identify the variable. Okay? So, let x be the unknown variable. So, unknown. Yan. Okay? Then, sa step for we have to uh, translate into mathematical expression. Okay? So, anong i-translate natin dito? If the length of a rectangular garden, flower garden is thrice, ito, thrice a number increased by 6. Ibig sabihin, thrice a number increased by 6. Ito yung sa length. Okay? If the length of a rectangular flower garden is thrice a number increased by 6. Ito yung sa this is for length. Okay? Then, each width is a number decreased by 8. A number, ito yung x, ito talaga si x, decreased by 8. This is for the width. Okay? Ayan. Ngayon, I-solve na natin yung ating problem. So, ito na yung given niya. We have to find the perimeter. Ito yung hinahanap. Okay? So, let x be the unknown variable. Ito yung uh, hahanapin natin si x. Itong mahirap pa x kahit x na hinahanap pa. <laughs> Anak ng pating. Then, 3x plus 6. Bakit sa 3x plus 6? This is thrice a number increased by 6. Okay? Thrice a number increased by 6. Diba yung last topic natin? Yung uh, meaning ng plus sign. This is increased by plus added to. Diba? Then this is for the length. The length of a rectangular flower garden is thrice a number increased by 6. Then sa width naman is a number decreased by 8. Ito. A number x decreased by 8 or x minus 8. This is for the width. Okay, we have to solve the problem. Okay, so since hinahanap natin yung perimeter of a rectangular garden, okay, so mag-draw muna tayo ng uh, rectangular garden. Okay, since na kayo sa rectangle ko. So, dito sa rectangle, meron dalawang length, meron ding dalawang width. 
Kasi perimeter, kailangan kunin natin yung total ng dalawang width at saka dalawang perimeter. Ah, dalawang uh, length. Sorry, ha? So, yung formula, perimeter is equal to dalawang length plus dalawang width. Dalawang width at saka dalawang length. I-substitute naman natin ito, itong formula, sa ating given. Okay? So, perimeter that is equal to 2 length plus 2 W or width. Okay? Then, uh, perimeter that is equal to 2 times, ano yung value ng L? Diba ito yung for the length? Trice, diba? Uh, yung length niya, 3X plus 6 increased by 6. Okay, raise a number, increase by 6. So, 3x plus 6 plus 2. Tapos, i-substitute naman natin yung width niya, si x minus 8. x minus 8. Okay. Hindi ko na nalagay kanina. This is for the length, and this is for the width. And doon sa isa eh. Hindi ko nasulat. Then, P is equal to, i-distribute natin yan. We have to apply distributive property. So, 2 times 3x, that is 6x. Plus 2 times 6, that is 12. Then, plus 2 times x, that is 2x. Then, 2 times negative 8, that is negative 16. Pagkatapos yan, we have to combine like terms. So, combine natin yung the same term or similar terms. Okay. So, perimeter that is equal to yung the same ni 6x, I see 2x. So, plus 2x. Then, kupihan natin si minus 16 at saka si plus 12. Yan ang combining like terms. So, P, ay, ito na lang. P that is equal to, or perimeter that is equal to 8x Minus, kasi mas malaki si 16, compare natin kay 12. So, kupiyahin natin yung sign ng mas malaking number. So, negative 16 plus 12, that is negative 4. So, ito na yung final answer natin sa ating problem. Perimeter, that is equal to 8x minus 4. Okay, uh, next problem. Find the perimeter of a rectangle if the longest side is 3x and the shorter side is x. So, same pa rin ang hinahanap dito. Find the perimeter. Hanapin natin niya si perimeter. Okay, yung given natin, meron tayong 3x represent the longest side or the length. And x, the shorter side. Ito yung shorter side or the width. So, i-draw natin yung rectangle na yan. Ito yung longest side, si 3x. Ito yung shorter side na x. So, ang uh, formula, of course, yung perimeter that is equal to 2 length, dalawang length, dalawang length, tsaka dalawang width, plus 2 width, or 2w. Okay, e din, isubstitute natin yan, si 3x, at tsaka si x. Ito talaga si x. So, perimeter that is 2 length, plus 2 width. Okay? Then, perimeter that is equal to 2 length, yung value ng length, that is 3x sorry tapos plus 2 ang value ng width na x. Ayan. So, perimeter that is equal to 2 times 3x that is 6x. Nakuha? Then, plus uh, positive 2 times x, that is positive 2x. Therefore, yung perimeter natin, or yung final answer natin is 8, uh, 6x plus 2x, that is 8x. So, ito yung final answer natin sa ating example number 2. At maraming maraming salamat sa panonood. At kung hindi ka pa nakapag-subscribe sa channel ko, mag-subscribe ka na at hit mo yung notification bell. Para updated ka sa lahat ng mga videos na i-upload ko. See you to my next video. Bye-bye.